Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our great Indian game series and our crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we've got another Night Odds game for you. This one played at uh, um, 10 minutes plus 5 seconds so the black player had uh, a reasonable amount of time. Um, yeah this is, features uh, one of uh, Leela's many kind of uh, quick Quick fire attacks, really, from um, from uh, well-known openings. You know, there's a, a real difference in the way that Leela plays. Um, as understood it, um, Leela has something like a small opening book derived from um, uh, from its uh, its training, and then there's lots of temperature put on that, which basically means that Leela's then free to choose, uh, you know, out of a, a very wide scala of moves, you know, uh, um, what it wants to do. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's why, you know, you often see uh, Leela playing the first, uh, you know, two or three moves sometimes, and then afterwards doing something completely different that you've never seen before. Now, I guess that, you know, in a few of these rapid systems, it might be possible to uh, to prepare something uh, specific against Leela and uh, just emerge with a, uh, you know, um, a winning position from the, uh, from the opening. Um, well, I mean, in, in principle, if you're a knight up, all positions are winning, but um, uh, but uh, you know one that's uh, like a clear win, you know, without any counterplay for white. But the problem is there are so many of those openings um, that uh, preparing against every single one of them is rather difficult and maybe not particularly useful if you're going to use this really as a as a real training method. But those systems are really fascinating, and it really makes you think, wow, shouldn't I be trying something like this uh, with an extra knight on uh, on G1? I've got loads of systems like that now. And uh, this one in the English is really, really interesting. Let's have a look how it went. So c4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, and now d4. So, um, uh, yeah, quite a uh, quite an unusual little idea there. Normally, when you go knight c3, white follows up with knight f3 or plays the move uh, g2 to g3 to play bishop g2. d4 is uh, is pretty unusual. And the idea is after takes, queen takes knight c6, playing the move queen e3 check, which is a little bit disruptive. Um, if you go queen e7, then I imagine that Leela was going to move the queen somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, um, probably something like uh, d3, for example, and just claim that this uh, queen is, uh, is slightly out of the way. Um, Black played the move bishop e7, and now, um, yeah, key difference you see between um, uh, Leela and uh, and the other engines. If you play the, the move bishop d2, which is uh, vaguely natural, then um, Black gets to play the, the freeing d5, which is quite annoying somehow. So um, uh, what Leela plays here is the move knight d5, just to stop Black from playing d7 to d5. And after uh, castles, then the move bishop d2. Yeah, again, the engines were uh, looking at knight e7, queen e7, queen takes e7. Not the way you want to play with odds. Leela plays the move bishop d2. And uh, quite a nice one, actually, sort of covering the, the b4 square, preparing to put the bishop round to uh, c3 on the, on the long diagonal. Again, you know, this is quite a random opening somehow, but yeah, you know, Leela's playing this for the... Uh, for the win, one set of pawns has been exchanged. Um, you know, Leela's always um, um, never really worried about exchanging one set of minor pieces. That's what you've got. To exchange any more than that, though, will be pretty tough. And uh, yeah, the opponent does, certainly doesn't manage it. So d6 played by um, uh, by Black. I would have maybe um, been a little bit keener on, on rook e8, just um, putting the question to the queen and just asking uh, white to do something. Maybe queen d3 was going to happen, or, or maybe queen g3. Ah, attacking c7, but maybe knight e4 after. Uh, probably queen d3, I think, you know, and uh, and life carries on. So d6 played by uh, by black. That's you know completely fine. No worries about that at all. But uh, bishop c3, and now bishop f5. I mean, the nice thing about uh, the way that Leela's played is if you go bishop e6, we go rook d1 here. And, you know, black's not able to free uh, free himself just like that. So if you're going to free yourself, you're going to have to do some work on it, some tactical work. And, um, uh, I mean, one of the things that um, uh, Torch suggested that I thought was really, uh, was really nice somehow, wanted to play the move knight e5, which just looks like a total blunder. 
Um, but the, the tactical point, if you go takes, we're not taking back like here because, well, that would lose the, uh, uh, the queen. But uh, we take back with a knight on d5. And after takes, we go d takes e5. And um, if you go d takes e6, we go bishop b4 check. And that's going to, you know, we're just forcing, we're going to be the exchange up rather than a piece up. But we're also going to force whole scale exchanges, you know, so it's just uh, um, terrible for white. You can't do that. But yeah, you know, those sort of, um, uh, you know, very sharp tactics uh, just from the opening. Um, yeah, if you can spot those sort of things uh, quickly, you know, then, uh, yeah, then, then you're, you're going to. You're going to give Leela some more challenges in, in odds. I'm sure Leela would find some way to keep things going, yeah, but uh, wouldn't go into this line. But um, but yeah, you know, that's the sort of thing that you can do. Bishop f5 was played by uh, by Black. And now I wonder if you can guess what Leela's move was here. One of the things that makes Leela very, very difficult to deal with is that, um, you know, um, Leela's not afraid to give up multiple pawns uh, in order for any crumb of activity. And that's what Leela did, played the move g4. So black refused that. I'm not surprised, to be honest. I mean, um, after knight g4, presumably something like queen f4, and knight e7 was again recommended by the Indians. But yeah, <clears throat> not what Leela would do, I think. You know, and yeah, you've just got rook g1 and it's it's not, um, you're not mating or, or anything like that. But I mean, you're simply, you know, there's simply danger and the g-file and uh, more for a, a human player to uh, to deal with and to cope with, you know, and uh, and that's just, you know, very, very tough. So bishop g6 uh, was played by black, quite sensible. And now h4. And uh, that's the other thing that you notice about um, about Leela. You know, Leela's just pretty relentless. You know, it's just uh, keeps on going, keeps on coming forward, keeps on sharpening the play all the time. And it's very hard to, to deal with this. I mean, this is 10 minutes plus five for uh, for this opponent. But yeah, you know, it's um, uh, there's a lot of threats happening and a lot of um, uh, a lot of things you need to consider. And I think what you're really noticing a lot as well is that, um, you know, human players are often being pushed into non-standard things yeah, that, you, that you, you can work out, but that you really need some time and some, you know, some uh, some effort to uh, to see because there's lots of little hidden tactics that you have to navigate all the time. And uh, yeah, just the the, um, the effort is proving an awful lot. Uh, Black does pretty well up to a point, um, but then yeah, just one small mistake and then off you go. You're uh, you're in trouble already. It's quite amazing. So knight takes d5 played here, takes a knight e5, and now h5. So yeah, I mean just in 12 moves of an English with a piece down already, you know, there's there's like danger everywhere here, right? Um, so Black played something very interesting actually. Um, not bad at all, um, but super sharp and maybe asking a little bit too much of, you know, of uh, of himself somehow, I think. Um, actually, black could play the move bishop c2 because it's hard to get that um, that bishop on c2. Rook c1, which you, you might sort of think, well, yeah, you know, what am I doing with this bishop? Actually fails to the rather gorgeous bishop g5. F4, and now maybe you want to guess the uh, the correct move here. Pretty gorgeous one, I have to say. It's the move knight d3 check. So uh, after e takes d3, rook e8. And uh, even more gorgeous, actually, if uh, king d2, then uh, bishop f4. Very, very nice from uh, from black there. So, yeah, I mean, it was possible. Bishop c2, you could keep your piece. And uh, and then you're, you know, you're probably going to look to try and play f5 later. Um, yeah, you know. Again, you know, you're never the way that Leela plays. You're never killing everything dead just with one move. Yeah, but um, but it was possible for Black not to uh, to sacrifice uh, or not to um, sharpen the play further. Put it that way. But Black played Bishop G5, which is very interesting. Of course, um, if you go F4, we've got this uh, this Knight D3 idea, and then uh, Rook E8 afterwards. So the Queen comes to D4. <coughs> I mean, there's hanging pieces and forks all over the place now, but black played the move c5, and um, that's still um, still pretty good, opening up the uh, the position. Minus 3.44 still, so black's doing pretty well. D takes c6, and now this move, bishop f6. And um, yeah, it's quite um, it's all quite uh, quite tricky somehow. I mean, you're kind of willing to give back this piece at some stage, but just to try and get lots and lots of activity. For example, if the queen comes to f4, 
then queen e7 threatens knight d3 check. If king d1, we go bishop g5, and if queen d4, yeah, the engines were looking at b takes c6, and I'm guessing that after takes, you want to do something like this, and uh, you know, you, you, you've got rook f4, you've got uh, attacks on f2, you might have c5 at some stage, you know, it, it's all, uh, you know, white's got material back, but black's got a massive initiative, you know, even the, the white queen's a bit short of squares where it is. Um, but Lila played the move queen a4, which is, uh, yeah, quite nice and um, uh, maybe slightly surprising. And um, here black went wrong in actual fact. The best line was to keep on trying to insist with uh, with b5. And um, yeah, if you go queen b5, we get rook b8 in and, uh, well, you know, we'll be able to do some sort of discovered attack like knight d3 and then take on b2 and give rook e8 checks. You know, it's going to start getting really, really dangerous there. And uh, yeah, you know, if, if white plays, uh, for example, queen f4 or anything, you're back into the, the normal lines again after queen e7. But where black's played b5, you know, um, yeah, swings and roundabouts, you know, black's going to play b4 to um, to attack the bishop and open up the uh, the b file again. Um, basically, in in this game now, black just just tried to strike a bit too quickly. You know, you need you still needed to to make some uh, tempo gaining moves uh, with uh, with black. But black play, play, went for the, the idea knight f3 check, which is surprisingly dangerous, but doesn't quite get there. So e takes f3, queen e7 check, king d1 takes takes, and now rook e8. And at first sight, I mean, this is this is not looking bad at all, right? Um, it's uh, um, you know you're you're threatening queen e1 checkmate first of all, and whatever you're doing, it looks like you're going to get um, you know into uh, into uh, e1 somehow. And um, yeah, I mean, moves like bishop c4, you know, you've got queen f6, for example, hitting stuff as well. So uh, you're going to go b takes c6 as well, and you'll get the b file open. So, you know, this isn't the best idea, but it's certainly not not stupid at all. But uh, Leela, of course, is is 3600, right? And, uh, you know, well, with the, it, the, 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 um, the depth of which it's playing 800 nodes is probably around... Uh, you know, 3,300, 3,400 rating, maybe a little bit higher. Um, it's, um, I've always said that um, uh, searching 10 nodes a move is parity with me. So, you know, sort of 2,600, uh, uh, 2,700, or it's been the case. I'm not sure that maybe the, the recent versions of Leela are now, you know, even stronger somehow. But, um, but uh, yeah, you know, so we can think 800, uh, 800 nodes, 800 half moves per move. Um, yeah, that's going to be quite a serious, uh, quite a serious um, uh, strength. But you know, but Lila is doing stuff like you know missing you know some some quicker mates or uh, or that at some stage. You know, just uh, not quite uh, seeing everything at that uh, stage. But of course, the evaluation is so good that uh, just makes all the difference. So King B3 and now B takes C6 and you know. Well, obviously, you know, with white, you're sort of thinking, yeah, I'm going to have something here, aren't I? But it doesn't look completely clear that your king's going to be safe because, I mean, rook b8 is coming in, queen b2. This looks very, very dangerous. But Leela um, was uh, uh, quietly confident. Queen f4, king g8 and bishop d3. So you've sort of cut the king off along here. And now you're uh, you're going to, um, uh, to attack the pawn in h7. And of course, you know, this throwing forward of the king side pawns has just, you know, opened lines on the king side for, uh, for white. And after rook b8, yeah, king a4. And somehow Leela's managed to find a square there that, that's just not checkable. The bishop covering the, 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 the c2 square as well as attacking the king side. And, um, um, and yeah, you know, the king just not checkable from anywhere. But black played h6. And Leela played queen takes d6 here. And black played queen takes f3, which, um, you know, doesn't look uh, doesn't look so bad. Um, trying to get a little bit closer and, yeah, taking away the uh, the f3 pawn means that you get to uh, to e4 as well. But Leela finished off with bishop c4. And um, after the move king h8, the very simple rook takes h6 was uh, sufficient. Because if uh, g takes h6, then queen takes h6, checkmate. 
really um, lovely game, I thought. You know, very good uh, example of uh, what you, you know, one of the things that you face with um, with Leela, you know, which is these uh, very quick um, uh, attacks from the opening. Um, that's one of the ways that Leela plays this odd chess. And then you've just got to try and react. And, uh, you know, Leela's just finding all these unusual methods of development and all sorts of methods of development where you don't just get to clarify simply. You know, you always have to do some work to get your pieces developed and try and, you know, shake the structure that uh, that Leela's put together. Um, and to be honest, I mean, some of these things, uh, you know, could prove really interesting, I think, with an extra night on G1. You know, it's uh, so that's very, very, you know, interesting to see. The big problem is that you could, you know, conceivably prepare a couple of these, you know, but um, the problem is that, you know, Lila's going to come up with uh, another 20, uh, you know, uh, similar, but not quite the same, you know. And yeah, I don't think it's really, um, really worth the effort to uh, to do that. I think it's much better just to try and uh, improve uh, your play uh, against uh, odds Leela and just be able to uh, to do it in every single position. I think that's the uh, the goal and that's the real training value of uh, of playing games against uh, Leela at odds like this. But uh, yeah, I like this one uh, very, very much and uh, I've got a little collection uh, of, uh, of these uh, systems so uh, probably have a look at a few games in them uh, from uh, from time to time. There we are. I hope you're uh, enjoying this uh, video series. Um, recording this this morning before doing some commentary on the World Championship. Do uh, join in. It's on the Lee Chess mainstream uh, today, so not my own channel, but uh, on Lee Chess rather. And um, uh, and do remember to have a look at that Leela Eval bar that I showed yesterday on live.lc0.org. Really, absolutely wonderful insight into the risk that uh, that both sides are uh, are taking you know just with Leela displaying the um the win the draw and the loss probability of uh, of each possibility that it's analyzing and of course you know this is really powerful Leela it's on four uh, Nvidia 4090 video cards it's really serious hardware so you're not going to get much stronger Leela anywhere so there we are thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you at the stream and also hope to see you uh, on the next video thanks for watching